in this video tutorial, I will be talking about um, the add, sub, mall, and div instructions. So um, these are arithmetic instructions, and we're going to be using um, the arithmetic registers EAX and EBX. Okay, so let's get started. So in this example, I have 14 plus 6 minus 5, and we're going to um, store that answer into the results variable. So let's create the results variable first. Result. I'm going to make it a D word. Um, and I'll set that equal to zero. All right. Okay, so I'm going to move uh, 14 to the EX register, just like that. And um, add six to it so here we have uh, 14 is placed in the ax register i'm adding six to it um pretty simple so next i'm gonna subtract five from the ax register okay and i'm gonna store that answer in um result so all right i'm gonna run this so you could see All right, so I put 14 into the EX register, which is E in hexadecimal. Um, adding six to that, that is 20. Uh, one four hexadecimal is 20. Subtract um, five from that, and that should give me F, right, 15. And then I will store that into result. All right, cool. Uh, so it's pretty easy, uh, self-explanatory. This one's a little bit different um, because we will be using the EBX register. Okay, so move forward to the EX register. And uh, you would think, you know, why don't you just do uh, this, you know? Shouldn't that work? Multiply 5 by, well, it does not work actually, as you will see here. you get this error because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to first move five to the EBX register and then multiply, uh, you do mall EBX and that will multiply um, EAX with EBX. All right, cool. And then uh, move to result. All right, let's see what we get here. I'm going to move this breakpoint down here. All right, cool. So four is stored in the EX register. Next, five goes into the EBX register. I'm going to multiply EBX, mol EBX with EX. Um, Cool, and then uh, EAX turns to 20, which is one four in hexadecimal. Sweet. So um, very similarly, uh, we're gonna move 20 to the EAX register, move seven to the EBX register, and div EBX. All right. Cool. So, I'm going to step over. Okay, 20 is already in the EX register. So, we're going to put 7 in EBX. And then divide EBX. Um, divide EX by EBX. And that should give us 2, right? 
um, because 7 goes into 22 times. Now notice that EDX changed too. It changed to 6. So why did it do that? Because 6 is the remainder of this uh, um, of this execution. So if I wanted to store the remainder, I could I could create a variable here. I needed the remainder for some reason, then I can, you know, move um, the EDX register to the uh, remainder variable, right? So remainder will be six. All right. All right, so let's put what we learned so far and do this problem here. We're going to do what is in parentheses first. Um, so eight times two is 16. Then we do 80 divided by 16, which is five plus four is nine. Okay, so first off, move eight to EX, move two to EVX, multiply EVX. Okay, so ax should be 16. Okay, now let's put 80 into ebx. Okay, so, um, 16 is an EX and we put 80 in EBX and we're gonna uh, Oops, this should be divide because we're gonna be dividing but wait a minute We don't want to divide We don't want to do 16 divided by 80 we want to do 80 divided by 16 Okay, so that means we got to switch those around and I'm gonna use exchange Like that Okay, so now um, 80 will be in EX and 16 in EBX. We'll um, divide those two and then just add uh, 4 to EX. And then lastly, store the results into results. Cool, let's run this. So, 8 goes in EX, 2 goes in EBX, multiply, now 1, 0 hexadecimal is in EX, which is 16 decimal, put 80 in EBX, where we want to exchange these two, so we exchange them, and then divide, and we get 5, then simply add 4 to the EX register, we get nine just like we are supposed to. Perfect. Okay, now you know how to use the add, sub, mole, and div instructions in assembly.